Previously, we have learned Bayes theorem is a powerful tool for calculating conditional probabilities, but it relies on accurate estimates of prior probabilities. When you have large amount of data, these estimates are reliable. However, with limited data, you might encounter situations where you haven't observed certain events at all. This leads to zero probabilities. Imagine you are building a spam filter using Naypace. Your vocabulary includes the word inheritance. If you haven't seen any spam emails containing the word inheritance in your training data, the probability of the word inheritance given an email is spam would be zero. And this is problematic because if a new email contains the word inheritance, the filter might automatically assume that it's not a spam, even if other words suggest otherwise. Smoothing is a way to make probability estimates more accurate, especially when we don't have much data. It helps prevent the probabilities from being zero when we haven't seen something happen yet. Smoothing is commonly used with limited data. That is when you have small amount of data, some events might not occur at all, leading to zero probability estimates. Smoothing helps to assign non-zero probabilities to these unseen events, preventing the model from making overly confident predictions based on the absence of evidence. In some cases, you might have a large amount of data overall but some specific combinations of events or features might occur infrequently. Smoothing helps to distribute the probability mass more evenly across different events, making the model more robust to rare occurrences. Smoothing is also often used in building probabilistic models, such as language models, name based classifiers. By smoothing, the probabilities you can prevent overfitting to the training data and improve the model's ability to generalize to new data. Now, overfitting happens when a machine learning model learns the training data too well, to the point where it starts to memorize the specific nuances and noise present in that data. Instead of learning the underlying patterns and relationships that generalize to new data, the model becomes overly specialized for that training examples. Think of it like this. Imagine you are studying for a test by memorizing the answers to practice questions. If the test only includes those exact questions, you will do great. But if the test presents a new set of questions that test your understanding of the concepts, you will struggle because you haven't truly learned the material. In machine learning, overfitting leads to a model that performs very well on the training data, but poorly on new unseen data. It's like model has memorized the answers but doesn't understand the broader concepts. Smoothing techniques like Laplace smoothing helps prevent overfitting in naive based models in a couple of ways. Without smoothing, if a word doesn't appear in the training data for a particular class, for example, inheritance in spam emails, its probability would be zero. This means the model would be overly confident in classifying any new email containing that word as not spam. Smoothing assigns a small non-zero probability to unseen words, preventing the overconfidence and allowing the model to consider other evidence. Smoothing also adjusts the probabilities of words that do appear in the training data. It reduces the impact of words that appear very frequently in a particular class, making the model less sensitive to the specific word frequencies in the training data. This helps the model to focus on the broader patterns that distinguish spam from non-spam, rather than memorizing specific examples. For example, consider a spam filter trained on dataset where the word sale appears frequently in spam emails. Without smoothing, the model might assign a very high probability to any email containing sale being spam. However, sale can also appear in legitimate marketing emails. Smoothing would lower the probability associated with the sale, allowing the model to consider other words and context to make a more informed decision. Laplace smoothing is the simplest form of smoothing. It addresses the issue by adding a small constant, usually one, to both the numerator and the denominator of the probability calculations. And which is why this technique is also known as add one smoothing. It prevents the probabilities from being zero. For example, in the case of probability of the word inheritance given an email is span, Laplace smoothing would modify the calculation as follows. As you can notice, it adds one in the numerator and V is the size of the vocabulary, that is the total number of words you consider. By adding one to the numerator, we ensure that even if a word hasn't been seen in the spam emails, it won't have a zero probability. Instead, it will have a small positive probability reflecting the possibility that it could appear in future spam. Adding one to the denominator compensates for the added one in the numerator. This ensures that the probability still adds up to one, a requirement for probability distribution. But 
they are slightly adjusted downwards to account for the smoothing. So let's say you have 100 spam emails with a total of 1000 words and the word money appears 80 times. Without smoothing, the probability of the word money given an email is spam will be 0.8. And with Laplace smoothing and a vocabulary of 1000 words, this probability would be 80 plus 1 divided by 1000 plus 1000, which gives us 0 0.0405. The comparison between the probability with and without smoothing highlights a few key points about Laplace smoothing in knife base. Without smoothing, 0 0.8 means that 80% of the time when you see the word money, the email is spam. This seems like a strong indicator of spam. And with smoothing, 0 0.0405 suggests that only about 4% of the time when you see the word money, it's in a spam email. This seems much less indicative of spam. The drastic change in probability with smoothing might seem counterintuitive, but here is why it's important. Without smoothing, the model might become too confident in the word money as a spam indicator. It might incorrectly classify a legitimate email like message from your bank as spam just because it mentions the word money. In this example, our vocabulary has 1000 words, but we have only seen 100 spam emails. It's likely that many words in our vocabulary have not appeared in the spam emails yet. Smoothing ensures that these unseen words don't have zero probability, allowing the model to still consider them in future classifications. So, is the smooth calculation more accurate? It depends. In isolation, in terms of this specific word money, the unsmoothed probability of 0.8 is more accurate for our current dataset. However, it might not generalize well to new emails that contain money in different contexts. When it comes to overall model performance, smoothing typically improves the overall accuracy and robustness of the knife based model. It helps prevent overfitting to the training data and makes the model more adaptable to new emails that contains words not seen before. While Laplace smoothing is simple and effective, it's not the only solution for zero probability problem. Laplace smoothing implicitly assumes a uniform prior distribution over all words in the vocabulary. This means it assigns equal probability to each word even if some words are much more common than others. In reality, language has non-uniform distribution, with some words appearing far more frequently than others, and this can lead to inaccurate probability estimates. Laplace smoothing also adds a fixed amount, usually one, to each word count. This gives equal weight to all words, regardless of their actual frequency. For example, a rare word like inheritance gets the same weight as a common word like the, which might not reflect the true importance of each word in distinguishing between spam and non-spam emails. In cases where you have large vocabulary or a small amount of training data, adding one to every word count can also lead to oversmoothing. This means the probabilities become too close to each other, making it harder for the model to distinguish between different classes. And hence, there are several other techniques that can be used to address the zero probability problem and potentially improve the performance of knife base. Let's stop smoothing is similar to Laplace smoothing, but instead of adding one, you add smaller positive value, for example, 0.5, and this can help reduce over smoothing, especially when you have a large vocabulary. Good Turing smoothing estimates probabilities for unseen events based on the frequency of the event that have occurred a small number of times. It is particularly useful when dealing with sparse data, where many words appear infrequently. Backoff and interpolation combines different probability estimates based on the amount of available data. If a word has been observed frequently, you might use maximum likelihood estimate or MLE, the raw count. For example, if the word money appears 80 times in 1000 spam emails, the MLE would be probability of money given spam is 80 by 1000 or 0 0.08. The problem arises with rare words. If a word appears only a few times or not at all in your training data, the Emily would be very low or zero. So let's say the word inheritance doesn't appear in any of your thousand spam training emails, but it appears five times in 5,000 non-spam emails. So without smoothing, the probability of the word inheritance given the email is spam will be almost zero. And with smoothing and back off, the same probability would be 5 by 6000 or 0 0.00083. So by backing off to the overall probability of inheritance, we avoid a zero probability and provide a more reasonable estimate. Laplace smoothing is a practical technique for addressing the problem of zero probabilities in knife base and other models. It helps improve model performance when dealing with limited data. 
Now, while lifeless smoothing is simple to implement, it's not a perfect solution and other techniques may be more appropriate in certain scenarios. So it's important to understand the trade-offs of each technique and choose the one that best suits your specific scenario.